YouTube, 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 never fail. Logan Jay's here, back with another sneaker review. Today I bring you a pickup that I got. Was it uh, after Nike released it? I went, checked out Boutique. Normally, you know, they, they got good stuff in store. So I'm like, maybe they'll have it online. Check Packers in New Jersey. It don't take too long to get to me. Had these for a couple days, actually like last week, but I've just been doing the other videos, other pickups that I've gotten. So I'm like, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. So today, Memorial Day, May 30th, 2022, Memorial Day. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, just want to get the, um, the review out and, um, I want to uh, wear these to the gym as this is more of like, uh, all around gym sneaker. It's uh 35 years old anniversary. Um, the SB version, I tried for those prices are not too bad. I will be having my eye out. I'm going to try to add them as soon as possible as I've always liked this color way. Um, and silhouette on the sneaker and i like it how the, it, it was done on the sb the air jordan 3 did do a version of it but to me i didn't like it and the majority of people didn't either but again that's just um so happened that everybody didn't really feel it um i don't know it just they didn't flow right to me but at the end of the day it is a fire colorway it's um very clean you got the chlorophyll the medium gray black and white cannot go wrong shout out to bo jackson uh, ticker hatfield for the design and um we're celebrating air Trainer one uh, twos the air trainer ones the air max ones just like a whole bunch of uh, classic um nike products for the year 2022 and then next year 2023 we're gonna have um the air jordan 4 as an sb so i'm excited for that and it seems like air jordan 4 really is cementing themselves as the um number one hyped sneaker in the jordan line not to say that the Jordan 1 still doesn't have it, still great, always produce great products, um, colorways and everything, um, but it just seems like they're basically saying that, um, you know, with uh, the Air Jordan 4 being opened up for a lot more um, things. So, yeah, I don't know. They're saying at the end of 2022, we should be getting the Ama Maniers, and then next year, uh, who knows? They usually do one or two um, SBs. I wouldn't think they just do one, but, you know, they only do a one uh, Air Jordan 1 85 highs per year so I don't know that that's what it is so they might just be doing one uh, and they'll always come with great quality you cannot go wrong with the uh, SB as uh, I love the SB line and it's good for the um I call it uh the, the skateboard shops I believe they, they should be getting them in they're, they're rarely they, they don't get any Air Jordan stuff so for them to get it through SB is like a big, big, huge, huge. It's like the biggest thing. You know, you can't get any higher than Michael Jordan. So and anything, Air Jordan. Air Jordan's the pinnacle. Everything else is under. You know, as much as I love Yeezy, it's, it's always um, Jordan number one, crown king. But enough of all that. Let's get this review. We got the red and gray and other gray. I always like this style of box. I don't know. It's, it's very plain and simple and stuff. But just those lines like that. I don't know, it just did it for me when I was younger. I always liked this box. It's crazy. Uh, Air Trainer 1, white, black, medium gray. Style code is over here. What is it? Uh, DM052111. Made in Indonesia. And in the box, we got some sticker action there, some stamp. There is. Let me see. Nope, no other sticker here. Got the tissue paper. Got these from Packer. And what was it? Uh, these were 120, 15 shipped. So wanted to pay 120 straight from Nike, but it is what it is when you like miss it and that's it. But more than likely, I think I wouldn't have hit, but for whatever reason. But here they are. Woo! Woo! Yes! Air Trader One. Starting out with your also, you got your white hits. I love this uh, pivot point here. Your medium gray hit. You got your chlorophyll here and that Nike there. Midsole. You got a little bit of white and white stitching. Then right here you got black and white. You got the also coming up. White, same thing, same. Black and white wraps around the heel towards the medial. Going up on the upper, you got this leather black leather here as well as on the swoosh 
it feels uh, durable and a premium feel. Does not feel cheap. So even it's only a little bit, but it's just enough, and they didn't skimp out on the quality there. This rubber strap here is black with that green chlorophyll there, and it feels really good. I, I like the the feel of this rubber. You have a medium gray nubuck upper throughout and it does have backstroke so they did do a little bit of premium and for 120 you know look at nike doing good thing for 120 you know they always do that all the sbs man the cheap and they bring the quality <laughs> it, it's just it's crazy then you got the air jordan one lows and mids and they're uh actually now they're even higher priced than those because the hype has gone higher in the recent years and you're still paying uh uh, less with more premium products um, just from the classic Nike line so it's I, I don't understand it but uh, maybe because they don't make as many and, and the other ones they do so they got to cheap it out and another thing that I did see is that Nike does provide real leather it's just layered in a whole bunch of um, was it um paint and and it's super thin it's basically like like a thin super thin sheet of leather and they, then technically they can call it leather. But um, this, you could tell, it has a nice feel. You can see the greens. Um, it's like they, they went in with this release. You got your white vamp area perforations right there. A little bit more right here. Side panel and on the collar. And you got nice little ribbed as well as in the medial. This spot right here has perforations. And I don't know, to me, even though I love the sneaker, it just feels like the swoosh is missing there. I know back in the day, somebody was like, let's be daring and just have the swoosh on one side. So I understand that, but I always feel like, you know, so used to seeing it on the both sides that um, I'm just like, man, it feels like you could have put another swoosh there, but I like it. Um, you got your Nike Air, the chlorophyll there. Some more right here on your eye stays, white laces white leather tongue premium same like the upper didn't skimp at the top of the tongue you got a white tag with black swoosh green nike air trainer lettering there white piping behind the tongue you got that chlorophyll you got your production date which i can't show because they, they put it really low there you have a white sock liner that's the only thing I don't like about the sneaker, but I get this is an old style sneaker, so they keep it to specs. So, but um, I just don't like the sock liner, you know. Um, I, I really don't. I'd rather have it a little bit more premium, but I understand it's the OG. It is what you're going to get. And not that it feels bad, but like the, the cotton balls and all the stuff getting on the sock liner, it just, I don't know. I, I really don't like cotton balls. I like a nice silky thing where you don't collect those cotton balls there on the side. So you got your green insole and black Nike Air lettering. So once again, um, happy that I was able to get these with not too much hassle as more than likely uh, there will be a little bit more hype in the following releases, but it will settle down quick um, with Air Trainer 1 with Travis Scott releasing his Air Trainer 1s. So if those released as planned, which probably was way before, same thing with the Nike Air Max, um, Cactus Corporation, Travis Scott, whatever you want to call it. Now he's taking his name out from the collabs. They don't want to promote Travis Scott as he's associated with that event that happened. And so, I don't know, he's trying to loop it around and not be, you know, so much tied to his name. Another thing, that's why Virgil never put his name on anything. Like somebody could come up with a, uh, a company called Virgil Abloh and stuff. And I don't know, hopefully they got some kind of copyright thing for the family and the state. But like, you know, oh, it's a homage, but like, you know, it's best to like keep your name out. The one that has been lucky, you know, that, that has gone through stuff and nothing gone and done anything to mess up his whole career and everything is Yeezy. You know, he's very controversial, but, you know, putting his name out, not using his real name, but like still um, just using like a name like that. Uh, I, I don't believe Travis Scott is, uh, that's his name. Um, but like, that's the name that we're associated with. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, enough of all that you know just saying that i'm glad i was able to get these um basically retail yeah i had to pay shipping and stuff but it is retail um it's either that go drive up uh, like an hour to the store as it is about an hour from me they do have two locations in a little bit northern jersey from where i am it's closer to new york city as it is an extension 
of a New York City store, basically, because it's so close. You know, people just drive over the bridge, the George Washington Bridge, or the the tunnels and stuff. So, but um, yeah, um, it is a heritage store that came from New York and you know settled in in New Jersey. So, I wish the shipping was a little cheaper. Like, come on, man, fifteen bucks, like you could just do free shipping. But I know they gotta pay the bills, and they're not like a super high tier. Um, boutique where they could just be like let's absorb the, the shipping you know we're, we're good we want these customers to come back and let's not like beat get them for them $15 luckily New Jersey doesn't have no sales tax so I'm good there as well don't have to pay extra money but other states you got to pay shipping and taxes you know so but yeah YouTube just wanted to bring you this quick review really uh, happy to have these in the collection can't wait to wear these uh, finally um, I wouldn't say it's been 35 years since I wanted them. I know when I was younger, I've always liked this one silhouette. Uh, there was many other trainers that came out, but I always thought this one was so classic and fire, you know, and glad to finally have it. Um, like out of all the colorways they got of the OGs, this one, um, this is my favorite, man. Uh, from the, the trainer line, this is it. It's just so simple and clean. And, you can't go wrong man so and i always like sneakers um to have that black swoosh that like it just pops to let you know same i've said it before sneakers like adidas all white with like a, a black three stripes new balances you know they got like a black and there you know just um things like that just got the, the like pop i don't know how it just sets it off and it's black it's not, not like it's a color that will make it pop it just makes it pop to me if you get what i'm saying so uh, YouTube, it's your boy Logan J. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'm signing out. Peace.